continue to incubating eggs, hopefully this second short clip of six about our mini advanced incubator will give you the information you need about the initial setup of, of this particular machine. So firstly, we'll take our mini advance uh, out of its box. Lid, PSU, pop cover, base, egg disc. Some instructions, warranty card. Always keep the box somewhere safe. If ever you wanted to return your incubator for service or repair. It's a very useful box to put the incubator back inside. Uh, and it's also got a serial number. Instructions. Make sure you read those instructions. Your slip here, which reminds you that you get a three year warranty if you register your product on the Brincy website. So do that straight away. You'll need the serial number, which as I mentioned is on the box. The serial number is also on the base of your machine. You should be able to just see that white sticker. So register your three year warranty. You get an egg disc. This is a seven egg, seven egg standard disc. Um, different distributors may offer the machine with a 12 egg disc for quail. This can be purchased separately anyway. Uh, so that's our, our, our egg disc. You've got a water pot guard, which goes over the central reservoir to stop the newly hatched chicks from drowning themselves and you have a Brincy power adapter. And as you'll see on there, it says a Brincy approved power adapter. Always stick to the Brincy power adapter. There are plenty of dodgy imported adapters on eBay that claim to be Brincy uh, and should be avoided. Um, if you use a dodgy Chinese uh, power adapter and you have a problem with your machine, um, your warranty won't stand. So we need to set our mini incubator up in a room which doesn't have wide temperature variations. Ideally choose a room where temperature remains between 20 and 25 degrees centigrade and never allow the temperature in that room to drop below 17 degrees centigrade, which can happen on a cold night, particularly if you've got your incubator set up in a shed in the garden, for example. Also, always keep the incubator away from direct sunlight. For example, don't put it in front of a kitchen window. Um, you'd be surprised how much heat is generated by the sunlight that comes through a, a window. So, together, when you initially plug it in, the incubator will sound its buzzer and start to warm up. So we ought to demonstrate that for you. Um, I'll bring the camera up close and you can hear the buzzing sound of the incubator as it starts up. Let's plug that in ready. Okay, there we go. We plug into the socket here on the lid. Let's bring that camera forward. There we go. So hopefully you'll hear this as it powers up. go. So that has powered up and you heard the little buzzer going. 
for successful incubation, what you need is a combination of the right temperature, turning of the eggs, and the right humidity. So if you look at the base here while we're at it, you'll notice a central reservoir divided into two pots, one pot here, another pot here. To get the right initial humidity for hen eggs, you'll fill only one pot to the top of the central divider. We place the egg disc onto the incubator with the ridges facing upwards. And when we put the water in, we make sure the pot cover is fitted. Although that will only become really critical uh, when the chicks are about to hatch. So having done all this, we can, in our next clip, look at how the digital display works and the digital functions on that display.